type 2 diabetes. You talk to us a lot about diabetes, and this type in particular is becoming more and more prevalent. So it's important that we know what we can do to turn that back around. Very good point, Teresa. 24 million in our country are diabetic, and close to 80 million are pre-diabetic. means if they don't do anything about it, they're going to become diabetic. To differentiate between diabetes and pre-diabetes, I'd like to look at this slide. If the fasting sugar between 100 and 125, Teresa, that means a person is pre-diabetic. If the fasting sugar is more than 126, means they are diabetic. The question is... How do we know what our fasting sugar is? You when you go to really doctor, yes. That. When your blood sugar uh, is measured, blood work done, they usually measure your fasting sugar. But I want to differentiate between 100 and 125 pre-diabetes and more than 126 is diabetic situation. The question is... There are multiple factors involved. One of the major contributing factors for developing pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes stressa is abdominal obesity. Uh, that's why it's important everybody measure their waist over belly button. If it is more than half of their height, they means, it means they are holding too much visceral fat. To look at it, visceral fat, this is a CT scan of belly. This pink area we see, these are fat under the skin tree. So those are the ones we can pinch. But what is dangerous, fat inside, that's all the red that you see over here, all visceral fat. These that's are that's like a harder type of fat. These are the fat actually on your organ, on the kidneys, on your liver, on your intestine. And that's why it's so dangerous. Exactly. So that's why it's very critical. Why is dangerous? Because that much of belly fat causes a condition called insulin resistance. If you look at this slide, these are the sugar, uh, Teresa, in the blood. This sugar from blood has to get into the cell. To get into the cell, they must pass through these doors. These doors are locked. We need the key to open it. That key is insulin. When the belly fat increases, causes this insulin, called insulin resistance, means key doesn't work. So doors are not open. Sugar cannot get into the cell. So person becomes pre-diabetic first and then turns what to diabetes. What happens to the sugar? The sugar stays in the blood. That's why I become diabetic and then turns to the fat and extra store that cause okay. more fat, fat gain. But the good news is that we can easily control that. Even 5% of the weight loss. If somebody's 200 pounds, losing that 10 pounds can reverse prediabetes. If they continue losing more weight, they can beautifully actually reverse type 2 diabetes. So one of the major components is nutrition and lifestyle changes. It's so simple. An addition of a physical activity, the combination of weight loss, especially controlling that waist measurement, adding small physical activity, and also changing nutrition, not only can prevent developing pre-diabetes and but type also reverse you absolutely it. can, because in the past they said you have a diabetes for the rest you of your life. That's not correct. Right. Through nutrition lifestyle, you can change, and reverse is a very severe chronic disease, can have a significant impact on our health. And I imagine that you have some ways for people to make those lifestyle changes. If you have questions about that, you can contact Dr. Shayesta at this number on your screen. The first consultation is free. You can also watch these segments online at foxyoungstown.com. Doctor, thanks so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back after this.